Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Well, welcome back to my channel. And to all my new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining our wagon train. We're so happy that you joined us. Anyhow, today we're going to be talking about very awesome, cool things to take on your van camping adventure to make it more fabulous. Yeah, and let's get into it. These are like important to me. These make my van camping adventure awesome. So I thought I would bring them all out and, you know, you can go through it, see what you like, see what you don't like, whatever, whatever works. Just want to show you what I have. Just thought, hey, this is a great time to talk about things for van camping because what the heck, spring is coming and we're all going to be van camping very soon. All right, first things first, we need window covers. I have one behind me. I just put it in just so you could kind of see it. This is from Heat Shield and these are made custom from Heat Shield. They fit to this van in particular, 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan. I think for the entire set, I paid $156 minus the driver side and the passenger side. So these window coverings have little suction cups on them. They actually fit very well into the window, uh, but they do come with little suction cups that you have to stick on or you don't stick them on, but there's a little hole and you put it through, whatever, it doesn't work. I actually have a video on that, check it out. But uh, for the passenger and uh, driver's window, I had those windows um, tinted after factory, right? So I didn't want to use suction cups on those. So what I did was I bought magnetic curtains. So there are these black curtain things here. Okay. And they have magnets all the way around the perimeter. This would go at the top of your window. Can you see me? And you would form it around your window right down to the bottom. You can fit them anywhere in your car that has a metal frame. Here I do not have a metal frame on the sides here on my sliding doors, but in the front windows, front and passenger, there's the metal frame to the car and on here, go from the very bottom here. The first one starts right about here and it goes all the way through and you just form this curtain to your window. And it's really a great option for a window cover and that's what I went for those two windows. So window covers are super, super important if you're gonna be a van camper. You can obviously make your own window covers. I just chose not to do that. I'm kind of a weirdo. I like everything to be just so, kinda. So I bought them, yeah. Anyhow, this is what they look like when you get them. They're all rolled up. And uh, this is the windshield one, actually. But I have them for all the windows. So window covers, very, very important. Another thing that is super, super important for van camping. We're in a small space, right? We need some kind of air circulation. So I have a USB fan here. This fan has three settings. One, two, three, and it blows air really well. And it has three light settings too, which I don't use, but my granddaughter loves them. Anyhow, I have two of these fans. They have a little hook here. You can hook them on the, uh, Oh crap bars over there or these hooks here let me put, put it over here so you can see better your garment rack hooks you can hook them there but I put them on the headrest post you can hook them right on there and angle them to you and those are all directional I might want to add that too so these turn whoops there we go these turn all the way around like this so you can angle it any way they're very very directional Anyhow, yeah, so a fan is super important. Another thing that we need if we're van campers is a light source. So all these things that I choose are USB powered or charged. I don't use batteries. That can be really, really costly. This is a black diamond light. Super awesome. It's very, very bright. Many, many settings. Uh, very, very bright to very, very dim. And uh, it also has a distress signal. If you press the button two or three times, it flashes. There it is, the distress signal. So sometimes you might need that. Maybe you're getting a situation and you're stranded somewhere, you know, and you had this in your backpack or something. So that's awesome. This actually has a power bank in it as well. So if you do choose to take this uh, in your backpack on a little trip or what have you, and you need a little power up on your phone, there's a jack back here. So this is a power bank as well. That's a cool feature. These are Kaizen lights. They're collapsible. They're like accordion style type lighting. Okay. There we go. This one has a distress signal as well. And it also 
has a little flashlight if you need it. You can also use it as a power bank to charge your phone. So this, these are cool. These were gifts from my brother-in-law. He's the best gift giver. I have two of these guys. I also might want to add, it has a solar panel on the back, so you can charge these by solar as well. They have a hook, so you can hang them, whatever works for you, or set them down. But anyways, lights are super, super important when you are man camping. Another thing, this is my second one of these. I don't want to talk about it because I was very sad I lost the first one. But my husband, great guy, he bought me another one. This is an Olight. These are super, super bright. This one isn't fully charged, nonetheless. But it has different settings as well. There we go. And it has a clip. You can clip it on your belt or what have you. Again, USB charged. And we'll all get to how I charge all these in a minute. But uh, this is the charging cord, a little magnet. Done. And this is a very powerful light. I love this light. These items I'm showing you, I will have the links in the description for them. So another thing. Let's see if I can grab it. That I really... Uh, I'm glad I got is a indoor outdoor thermometer so when I went van camping last November I kind of wanted to see what the temperature was outside versus inside so this is the outside guy I put a magnet on the back put it on the roof of my car and actually forgot about it a couple days and never lost it it stayed up there the whole time and even in the rain oh my word but anyhow um so this is the exterior this is your interior one um I don't know how warm it is outside. It was supposed to get like 73 out, but I had this thing directly in the sun. So uh, it says it's 78 outside and what do we got? 67 in the van. So, but again, it was directly in the sun, really getting beamed on. It is actually quite warm. But uh, these are great items to have. And I personally like to know the difference in the temperature when I'm sleeping in the cold outside versus inside. And it was kind of fun figuring out uh, how to bundle up for those nights, let me tell you. All right, so that's one of the only things that is not USB powered that I use in this van. Another thing that I don't have in this van that I use and that I really love is a blend jet. It is a USB powered blender. It's a little, it's a powerful little thing. I'm sorry, it's downstairs in my kitchen, my uh, camping kitchen box. I didn't take it out, I should have, but I didn't. Um, Anyhow, that thing is the bomb.com. So you can make smoothies and whatnot. It says it can crush ice, which it does, but I will give you a little uh, PSA here, a little FYI, a little 411. It works better with aerated ice, like the kind you buy at the store, rather than solid ice cubes from your refrigerator. Just saying. Tried that, and it just get, they get stuck in there, and um, not good. But the aerated ones crush up really really well anyways uh yeah a blender that is such a great little item to have if you love your little smoothies in the morning or afternoon or however you do you yeah so there's that um how do i power my things oh i'm so glad you asked this guy right here this is my jackery 500 as you can see it has three usb ports in the center it has a regular wall plug and a 12 volt this thing is awesome. It comes with two different cords. You can charge this obviously in the house or through your uh, vehicle, plugging it into the 12 volt. And you can also charge it with a solar panel, but I don't have that, so there. Uh, maybe one day I'll get one of those, but at this moment in time, I don't need one. So this unit, this Jackery 500, is what I use to power everything. So when I'm traveling during the day, I have I always have this plugged in so when I'm traveling in my van rock hunting the Great Lake shores and uh, doing my thing I have this plugged in to the 12 volt over here in the van and it continually charges this thing up through the day at nighttime when I turn the van off that is not a hot plug so when the van goes off this is no longer being powered by the car but I do have my refrigerator plugged into this. I have an Alpha Cool, which is not out here in the van, but we'll talk about it, an Alpha Cool C20. I don't remember how many liters. I don't remember right now, but it's the bomb.com, I tell ya. So that thing, you can look it up, an Alpha Cool C20. 
refrigerator. It is a compressor refrigerator and it only pulls about 35 to 42 watts. I have it running on Eco Low and on the real hot days it's important that you keep your windows cracked in your vehicle so there's proper air circulation when you're not in this van so the van doesn't get too hot. So the refrigerator is always running since it's a compressor on and off on and off and it needs proper ventilation so always make sure if you are using a compressor type refrigerator that you do crack your windows it's super super important so this jackery 500 powers my refrigerator which only pulls 35 to 42 watts depending on how hot it is out again i only use it on eco low that's always served me well and this also powers all my electronics, my phone, my um, iPad, my blender, my lights, my fan, anything USB, this thing powers it. And uh, I'm very happy with this unit. So what else do we need when we go van camping? Here we go. Rain guards. Let's talk about those for a minute. All right, I'm gonna apologize right now for this dirty window. I did go get a car wash, but I have not cleaned my windows yet, so just bear with. All right, oh, the garbage man's coming, so we got a little noise, sorry about that. All right, this is a rain guard. So the rain guards are installed outside of the window into your door frame, and what they're good for is allowing your car to be ventilated when it's raining, or you don't want anybody to see that your windows are open. So now I have my window open about a half inch here and I can probably open it. Let's see if I'm straight on looking. About a good inch here. Maybe two because actually from way up here. So probably about a good two inches. The window is open but I have a covering here that's not going to allow any rain to come in or people to know that my windows are actually cracked. So how cool is that? So rain guards are super super important when you're a van camper in my opinion because they allow for you to have proper ventilation during the night. Even if I had my window covering on here, which I put them on, of course you have to, especially if you're a stealth camper and you're in the city somewhere, you're going to have this entire window covered with one of those uh, covers, whatever you choose, but you can pull back a corner of it, you know, or just pull back the top a little bit and you're going to get air ventilation through here. So these have been a blessing. I've got these installed on both sliding doors and the passenger and driver's doors. And I am very happy I have those. Okay, so a couple other things that I bring on my van camping adventures. Sometimes I use this and sometimes I don't, depending on how long I'm staying at whatever place, are fairy lights. So these fairy lights are so cool. And they're USB powered, of course. They're little tiny lights that you can string up around your van for lighting. And they're just fun, you know, they're fun. I don't always use them, but my granddaughter loves them. And this is 66 feet. Again, they are powered USB. And they also have a remote control right here, a ton of settings. So they kind of, they flash, they go on and off, they fade in, they fade out. They zoom quickly, they, they do all kinds of crazy stuff, but I love them, and these are fun too. This also has a wall plug if you wanted to use them in the house, or actually even on the Jackery, but of course I just use the USB plug here, see? There. So fairy lights. Now I hang my fairy lights around my van with these guys. I did a video on this, and it, these really, really work well. These are pull tabs from any kind of carton type product could be uh, coffee cream whatever heavy whipping cream but anyhow let's see I'm gonna move this gently 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 okay here we go gently I'm only gonna move this so you can see here this the rounded part here okay so this is the ring the rounded part just fits in there like that you see that and you can put as many as you want anywhere. The whole idea is, is you don't want to, you don't want to mess up your van. You don't want to stick anything on here or, you know, modify it in any way. But those little tiny wires fit really nicely up in these slots. And again, you can put as many as you need. So I put them on this pillar, the one across from it, the pillar by the front 
drivers and passenger. And I'm going to move this again ever so gently, guys. Ever so gently. And I also put them back here, right along the entire back of here. And they hang nice. It's so good. It's such a great thing. These work really, really well. So that's just a little hack I came up with. And I, I keep these. I have a whole bunch in the house, too. All right. Another item that is really nice to have when you're van camping, and again, for me, the less I have, the better off I feel about my adventure. And the reason is, is because this is a really small space and I don't want to clutter up my space with stuff. So I always think small. Do I need the thing? Do I not need the thing? And if I don't need it, uh, I don't bring it. And if I can bring a smaller version, I'll bring the smaller version. This is one of those trifold little camping chairs. Let me just set it down. And one of these guys. See? One of these guys. Just a little trifold chair. And it's very, very light. And I can strap it on my backpack if I go somewhere. Um, but if I'm not going to be at a campground and I'm going to be in the city and just traveling through places to go rock hunting, then I don't need a big camp chair. I don't need that. So I'm only going to bring this kind of a chair. Now, if I'm at a campground and I'm, I, I'm, my home base is the campground and I've decided to stay there for four days and I'm going to be back and forth to this campground, well, I'm going to bring a regular camp chair then. Uh, but the last adventure I went on, I did not bring that. I only brought this and this was all I needed. So this is another great little thing to have. Very inexpensive. Bought this one at REI. Another important thing for me to have on my van camping adventures is a water source. And I personally don't want to bring a case of bottled water. I don't want the, um, I don't want the extra bottles laying around. So what I bought was a water pump and a three gallon jug to put it in. So this is like my squatty one, my squatty little jug. I actually have one that's more slender and tall, but they're they're all three gallons. I have three, three, three gallons. This is the squatty short one. So these have wide mouth tops. I get these filled at my friend's water store in Richmond, Michigan. Check them out if you haven't. And this is the water pump that goes with it. Again, USB charged. So how this works is the spigot you fit into here. Okay. So that's your water spigot. And here is the silicone tubing that fits down into your water jug. Fits onto here. This works with the touch of a button. There you go. Battery's low right now, but it is charged USB. So this thing is the bomb.com and I'm so glad I purchased it. These also come with little spigots on them where you could just let your water come out. And that's good too, but I'm always afraid those are going to drip and then I'm going to be in a bad situation. Don't want that. And what else did I... Oh, yes. The other thing. Collapsible sink. All right. So you guys know I'm a rock hunter, right? There was a couple times where I had quite a few rocks and I did not have an empty something or another to put them in. If you know anything about rocks, you know that when they're in water, you can kind of see their patterns better, whether you're looking for Petoskey stones or whatever. Their colors come out way better when they're wet, right? So uh, I didn't have that, and it was kind of bad weather and raining, and I had to do a little rock presentation in my van when it was raining out. So I used this. So this is a collapsible sink, okay? It's pushed down the corners, and it goes... Oh, I just inked my hair out of my head, guys. What the heck? You shake my hair in my head. Anyways, you put the sides down and it's collapsible and I love it and it has a, a little dish drain. I don't necessarily use it for dishes, but this thing has come in handy for many things. Many things. Like if I need to wash myself and uh, I need some warm water, I do have a camping stove, you know that. I heat up the water, dump it in here, a little bit of soap, a little bit of scrub dub dub, and I'm good. Yeah, so there, a little collapsible sink. Think about it. So there's that. All right. Let's talk about it. Everybody needs a toilet. So this is my collapsible potty in my whiz jar. Isn't that funny? Found it at the thrift store. I thought it was comical. 
So this is my potty jar, right? And how do I use that potty jar? Well, doggone it all if I don't have a Miss Potty thingy in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. So you can just look these up on your own because they look kind of obscene, just saying. But anyhow, it's a little Miss Potty thingy, okay? Links will be in the description. So that's only if I uh, need to go number one. And if I'm not at a campground and I need to go number two or I, whatever situation I got going on there, this is the portable toilet right here. Alrighty, here's our toilet. So this is the collapsible wall, okay? You're going to just open it up. You're going to put your plate in there just like so. Then you're going to put your bag in it. These are Sanicare commode liners. I bought these on Amazon. You do not have to use these. You can use whatever you want. I just chose these. You stick your bag in there. You put your kitty litter in there or your horse pellets, whatever you choose to be your absorbent uh, medium for the privy. I use cat litter, very inexpensive cat litter. Bring it in some containers and just call it a day. And then your lid goes on and this is your toilet. And it works out great. I do uh, recommend having something like this on your trip. So this is my privy. The last thing on my list that I would like to show you is my vacuum. I have a little This Works vacuum and this isn't like your Dyson or whatever you guys use at home, but it does work. It gets crumbs, it gets sand and hair and whatever. It has a lot of attachments. It's 12 volt and I keep it in the van with me uh, underneath my front seat actually because again, I like a clean environment. So I use it to vacuum my seats off, I to vacuum the floor, my bed, whatever I need to vacuum. I just feel like um, this little guy was well worth the money, which I don't remember how much I spent, but again, I'm gonna have all the links to these things in the description. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, drop a comment and let me know um, what you think. If there's any questions I can answer for you, you know, ask. I'd be happy to uh, answer, and if I don't know the answer, I'd be happy to help you find out the answer. But anyhow, I am looking forward to this 2022 season of van camping and rock hunting. I am so excited about it. I'll be heading out end of May, um, I think the last weekend in May, and coming back after, I don't know, the first week in June or something like that. I gotta look it up. Yeah, really excited. Going to be doing some stealth camping. And everything I need is going to be in this van. Everything I need. So I am not worried about it one bit. That's what I love about van camping. You can have everything you need in this space. Everything you need to, to survive and to be completely self-sufficient. That is just a total game changer for me. I love it. I don't have to go back anywhere to go to sleep. I don't have to think that, oh gosh, I spent $35 on that campsite and I'm not going back there. I don't have to do that. I just pull into a parking lot somewhere and call it a night and it works out wonderful. Anyhow, uh, I hope everybody's having a great day. Thanks for joining me on this video. Catch up with you later. Until next time.